What could be more refreshing than Newport menthol cigarettes? Today, people are choosing Rothman's King Size Filter. Yeah, Winston King or Super King. There's been a huge surge of high schoolers using e-cigarettes or vaping. Is yeah. your child jeweling in school? The reality is that uh, you cannot ignore the fact that there is a rise in e-cigarette use and a corresponding decrease in cigarette smoking. As far as high school fads, which often come and go, uh, this one seems to be sticking and there's a lot of concern about it. The most popular item, which is the jewel, and as you can see, it looks like a flash drive. It's not. And then the kids can just tuck it away when they're done. So. Um, it wasn't really like my own, I wouldn't say it was like my own personal decision to vape or to jewel, but it was more of like, a f like more of like peer pressure. It's not worth it. Like the feeling is just like, I don't know, you just, you just feel like, for me at least, it's like I just feel relieved for like 30 seconds. When your body's not used to nicotine, like you get like a sensation for like a two minute period. And so people were drawn to that feeling. Like I... I liked it, and a lot of my friends that I know who jewel or have jeweled like it. Uh, but now it's just become such an epidemic that jewels are everywhere, and kids are getting addicted, and their bodies are getting used to this nicotine, and so they're not even getting head rushes, they're just doing it because it's addictive. And so people are starting to do it now more and more because it's a culture, and you want to fit in. And I feel like nowadays, especially like with teenagers, is that one of the most important things in your high school career, for say, is to fit in and feel welcome. And when you're at a party and someone offers to hit, offers you to hit their jewel, if you say no, people are going to judge you. You know, jeweling and vaping is not healthy for you, like by all means, but I had never thought of a cigarette before jeweling. Smoking cigarettes still is just not a priority of mine. I just feel like tobacco is just, I just feel like that. A jewel, like in the 21st century, is a lot more compatible for a teenager than smoking real cigarettes. There's a point where People are people are literally ruining like relationships with people just because they want a jewel or they want to buy pods so that they can smoke uh, a jewel instead of real cigarettes. So, so I, I I do think that like pressure from schools and pressure from peers and teachers leads to anxiety outside of school, and that's when kids get um, like into things that they shouldn't be, specifically vaping. Like it's an epidemic now. Two years ago. What was a jewel? No one knew what a jewel was. And now look at it, it's literally everywhere. I don't know if it's pressure that's causing it, but I think that the pressure from schools and the pressure, you know, to get into the best college and to do all that is also leading to kids needing to de-stress themselves, smoke more weed, you know what I'm saying? Smoke, vape more, smoke more weed. Do things that make them feel calm and make them forget about things outside of school. I mean, it's a hard question, right? Like every every child is different, but I would say that in general, the teenage years are the time where children start to truly assert independence from their parents and from any authority figure. They're really trying to figure out things for their on their own, and part of that is engaging in slightly risky behavior, or at least engaging in behavior in which people say no to because you can't tell me what to do. Hi, I'm Dr. Shimia. I have a PhD in biochemistry. I am the biology teacher and director of student science here at Jesuit High School. We know that there's a genetic component to being addicted. So if someone who smokes has that predisposition to being addicted, they've now officially set themselves up for a lifelong battle, and this is something that's starting at a very young age. Um, in addition, we know for a fact that nicotine actually changes the brain chemistry of any individual who smokes, and generally those changes are not positive changes. Smoking of any form introduces carcinogens into the lungs, and the lungs are obviously very crucial tissues, but they're also very sensitive tissues. So we have these little sacs in the, the ends of our lungs that do the gas exchange. So they pick up oxygen that we breathe in, and they release the CO2 that that 
is our waste product. They release it out. Um, and we know that smoking results in inflammation and inflammation results in what is known as chronic lung remodeling. So these little air sacs that are so crucial for our very existence and our breathing actually get remodeled. Their structure changes. And when their structure changes, they're not as efficient at being able to do that gas exchange. And ultimately, they won't be able to do it at all. As of now, that's not something that can be reversed. So that smoking this early ends up setting up individuals for a life of breathing difficulty. Um, it was back in high school when I was a freshman. Um, I, th there was a friend of mine and um, he was really stressed out all the time, but I don't know his life story too much, but he used to smoke cigarettes. And I remember um, him offering me one. And, you know, I'm one of those people, I just want to try new things. And he seemed to be enjoying it. So I took my first puff. And ever since that day, I, I started smoking cigarettes. I started noticing it started getting in the way of my mental performance and cognitive performance at school. And I found myself spending a lot more money than I wanted to on, on cigarettes. I just hated that feeling of, uh, of constantly craving and dealing with those withdrawal symptoms. So it ended uh, actually this year. I wanted to quit cigarettes. Um, I felt like it was too costly and um, people kept telling me that it would give me cancer. All my friends started smoking e-cigs and they were promising that it was healthier, cheaper, and a lot more convenient. And at the time, I, um, I just found it a lot more appealing. The thing is an e-cig is a slow killer. It's like global warming. Like you don't immediately just start seeing all the horrible effects, which I guess is why it's so hard to go after e-cigs. I think that's why it's kind of hard for people to get off of it because it, it, it isn't so clear at the beginning. Let's just say if I was talking to my younger self, I would probably tell him to stop smoking e-cigs or cigarettes in general because it's almost like a trap. Once you smoke it, once your mind just gets adjusted to that nicotine, it feels like there's no going back. It is such an uphill battle to get off of a nicotine addiction. And if there's anything I could do going back, it would be to just not smoke nicotine in the very beginning. Because the withdrawal effects, being dependent on it is one of the worst things I can ever say that would you know, be horrible for a teenager.